um, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I am doing another update this week. I don't really have anything planned to talk about today. Um, it's been kind of a weird week. So, um, yeah. So, let's get moving. Um, anyway, so, as I predicted, I didn't finish the chapter that I was on, uh, previously. Let me turn this light on. It's gonna help it all, but... I did not finish the chapter I was on, um, chapter 8, although I think it's chapter 9 and I think I need to change this heading. I may have to go check on that. Um, I did make it to page 189, which is pretty good progress. Um, it's 265 pages total, so I feel like I've made enough progress to be happy. Um, a couple things did happen this week. Um, one night I came home and my cat was trying to pee in my shoes. And then I realized that she was peeing blood, so I had to take her to the emergency vet. Um, she has a bladder infection, and, and I get to give her medicine, which she loves. Um, so, but she's okay now, but it was, I was very panicked, especially after we had to put the dog down last week. Um, so I was, it was, it was an emergency situation <laughs> at the time. Um, she's good now, but we had to, you know, she had to get a shot. I was at the emergency vet for like two and a half hours or something, so... Um, while it wasn't like a whole night, it did kind of derail my night and then I was nervous about her so I had to keep an eye on her and then I had to put her litter box and food and water in my bedroom and she had to like live in my bedroom for a couple days so we could make sure she was peeing because, um, she kept trying and couldn't but it would, appeared to be because her bladder was empty. She was having like urinary urgency even though she didn't have to go. Um, but she doesn't seem to be having as much problem now. She still seems to be peeing like tiny little droplets which is weird because I've never seen that before from a cat, but, um, so my litter boxes are strange, but I just cleaned them out, so we'll see if that's improving, but I do see her trying to pee a lot more frequently than I used to, so, um, I think she's still irritated, but today's day four of the medication, so, um, hopefully that will continue to improve, but, um, I'm getting pretty good at giving medicine to a cat, which is not a thing I've ever had to do before, so it's pretty exciting, um, because my other cat has a prescription, but his is prescription food, so I don't have to, like, mess with that. So the other thing that distracted me this week is, um, as I've mentioned before, I'm really into ga video games. Um, my favorite video game is Sims, um, and, I, you know, currently it's on Sims 4, um, but Sims is having a plant sim event, and I had to finish it before I could get focused again. Um, I finished it last night. So I'm hoping I can get some editing done today before I do anything else. But there was also an expansion out in Planet Coaster, or not an expansion, an update out in Planet Coaster, which um, I want to play with too. And I've only gotten to play with that one a little bit because the plant sim thing is a limited time and that stuff is just, you know, there. So um, I played a little bit and it's like super hard, so I'm going to have to like focus on it. Um, so that's, that's in the future too. And also it's freaking lovely outside here so I've got windows open and I hear birds chirping there's cats in the windows it's just it's beautiful so I feel like I might be able to get some editing done um and the kid is over at my parents house hanging out with the uh cousins so that's exciting um so that gives me a couple hours without strange questions about whether or not a zombie would do something or whatever whatever she feels like asking me randomly um so <clears throat> So yeah, that's things are things are going to move quickly again uh, here in the coming week. But uh, this week was kind of like a moderate fail, um, and I'm okay with that. But um, let's see. As far as my spring goals go, um, I don't know if I actually did full goals. Um, I'd really like to get this done by the end of the month, and it's only the 16th, so that shouldn't be a problem. Um, it's just sometimes editing goes a lot slower than other times. Sometimes you hit a chunk of pages where it's all just typos and everything else sounds good. Other times you hit a chunk where you have to rewrite everything. So um, right now what I'm focusing on is trying to remember that that sec some sections will be better than other sections. And so I just have to like embrace that and move along. And, and part of that's because this isn't my first edit and your focus kind of comes and goes as you're editing. You know, some days I'll have a really good focus on it and other days... Um, I won't focus as clearly on it, and so I won't really notice that, um, that I'm, 
not doing as thorough of a job as I'd like to. So, you know, it just kind of depends on the day. Um, but I, that's part of the reason I edit several times is because I want to catch that because I'm a human being and I have moods and, you know. CJ comes into town on Thursday, I believe. Um, I'm sure we'll do a video together, but we are going to be camping this weekend, so I'll probably film the video on Thursday or Friday and get it all ready to go and then uh, have it upload on Sunday. However, I might also do a bonus video while she's here, because she's here and it's something to do. Um, you know, we could we could do a write-in or something, too, which is possible. Um, it just kind of depends on what she's got on her agenda, too, because this is kind of like her little mini vacation, so if she wants to, like, hang out more than work, then I'm gonna kind of let her do that. So, um, but either way, I'm confident she'll probably be in my video this week. So, um, I think that about does it for today. Uh, I don't really have a whole lot else to talk about. Also, I'm trying out a new mic. Um, so if it sounds different, if it sounds bad, let me know below. Um, it didn't sound bad to me, and I felt like this mic was closer to me um, than the mic on the phone is. And the mic on the phone... I don't know. I felt like having an external mic would be better. But this is like a hella cheap external mic, so it might sound really shitty. And if it does, I am sorry for that. So I hadn't previously taken out my books and shown you guys my books and talked about them at all, so I figured I might want to go ahead and do that. Um, so my first, the first book I'm going to show you is my novel, Inside Darkness. Um, I am surrounded by windows, and it is a hardcover, and it's glossy, which... I might want to rethink in future books. Um, but, so, it's as shiny as it is. This is Inside Darkness. Um, this is kind of a haunted house story. I'll read you the back. When Brian Henderson moves in with his new girlfriend, Megan Pete, things in the house move on their own and animals turn up injured. In an effort to find an answer, Brian and Megan call Roderick Rathbone, host of Ghost Experts, a ghost hunting TV show, to help find out if the threat is human or if there's something more inside darkness. Um, so this is, this is my first novel I've ever released, um, so that's, that's available on drive Through Fiction, there will be a link below. Um, and then my short story collection, which is also glossy, but it's paperback, so it goes from being awful to being really good with very little movement. Um, this is 11 short stories that I wrote, um, at various times in my life. Um, they... They're everything, you know, they, they run from 1 to like 15 pages. The whole thing is only um, 84 pages. So that is also available from Drive Through. Both are available both um, in physical copies and in ebooks. Um, there's also an option on all of my books um, that come in hard copies, and I plan on keeping it this way, um, that you can. Um, I just knocked something over. Okay. You can buy um, the hard copy of the book, um, either hardcover or paperback if it's available. Um, Suggestion 376 isn't available hardcover. Um, but you can buy the book um, as a physical book, and you can also get a PDF of it at the same time for free so that you can read it the same day um, and still receive a hard copy. And, um, you know, if, if I'm ever out somewhere or I'm doing, you know, I do cons and stuff sometimes, if I'm ever out, I'd be happy to sign any copy. You're welcome to bring them. Um, that's something I would love to do. I do sign books pretty regularly. Um, and if you'd be interested in getting a copy that is signed, um, letting me know down below or sending me a message on Twitter or... Um, something along those lines would probably your, be your best bet. Um, I can always order you a copy or send you a copy because we do have some on hand sometimes, um, depending on how my cons do and when I order. Um, but if I have it on hand, I can just sign it and send it out to you. Um, and so you just, you just send me a message and I'll, and I'll get that sorted out with you. So, um, so yeah, all of my, uh, links will be down below. I am on Instagram, Snapchat, and, uh, Twitter. I don't use Facebook a great deal for writing stuff. Um, I really, Facebook really wrecks my fucking mood. So I try not to be on it if I can help it. Um, but please feel free to message me there. I think my husband's coming into the house now. So I will see you next week. Bye! Mm -hmm.